I start my intervention by thanking the ICC, International Criminal Court, for the kind invitation addressed to PAM, the Parliamentary Assembly of the Mediterranean, to contribute to the 21st session of the Assembly of States Parties to the Rome Statute. Since 2015, PAM regularly attends the event organized by the ICC as observer, and I would like to extend my warmest thanks to all of you for, for what PAM considers as the important recognition for our engagement at your side on the issues to be discussed today. On February 21st, PAM condemned in the strongest possible terms the brutal aggression launched by Russia against Ukraine and expressed its full support to the international community to restore peace and justice. The war has now entered the tenth month and brings with it millions of displaced and refugees and hundreds of thousands of uh, victims, many of them children. Almost 300 days have passed since in which we have witnessed the atrocities and the breaches of the international law and international humanitarian law perpetrated by the Russian regime, their army and their mercenaries. Based on the evidence gathered so far, and according to the UN, investigations have found that thousands of war crimes has been committed in Ukraine. There can be no impunity for war crimes in Ukraine, neither for torture, nor rape, nor systematic murder committed by the Russian forces against the Ukrainian. The impact of this invasion has put in danger the global security and stability, including that of the Euro-Mediterranean and Gulf regions. In this regard, our Assembly is following very closely, among many other issues, the consequences of the Russian aggression on armed trafficking, human smuggling, energy and food shortage, and the systematic destruction of civil infrastructures and of cultural heritage occurred in Ukraine. Not to mention the involvement of Iran, which not only violates international sanctions, but also poses a serious threat. Uh, many PAM countries are concerned that Iran may supply the same drones used in Ukraine to armed groups in Lebanon, Gaza, Yemen or the West Sahara, among others. Excellencies, distinguished colleagues, I wish to reiterate that PAM is fully committed to assist the efforts of the international community to first establish a special independent international tribunal to hold account perpetrators of the crime of aggression against Ukraine. Second, set up an international mechanism for reparation for damage, loss or injury. Third, create a, a trust fund for victims of this tragic war. In addition, PAM, together with its member parliament, is fully committed to support through the, its mandate the work of the ICC and reinforce further the cooperation between our organization. The PAM Secretariat shall therefore duly refer to all PAM delegations to outcome of this conference and will seek the cooperation of the national parliaments in the implementation of the necessary actions at the legislative level. I thank you all for the attentions.